within the writing process we have to see how we can train our students uh, transfer their ideas into texts which are well formed which are meaningful and how they can review themselves give a uh, check ass assess their own writing for further development or in other words how they can take the charge of their own writing as autonomous learners so um transferring ideas uh, from brain to text from mind to text and then reviewing is is challenging and as a language teacher i would strongly urge you to see some of the causes why don't students uh, you know what causes difficulties uh, amongst our students to assess their own writing so once the students are aware of their own difficulties um, in putting ideas into text they can become a better judge they can better uh, they can better assess themselves they can better identify some of the difficulties which hamper them from putting their ideas into coherent text some students can be very slow and some can be fast in terms of putting their ideas into a text so in this regard as a language teacher one of the effective ways is to develop collaborative writing exercises pairing slow versus fast writers and um or putting students into group of 5 and making sure that not um, each student has the same proficiency like each student uh, the participant of the group has different proficiency so this is how uh, will uh, we can patch the slow with the fast writers another possible cause is is the script uh, difference of script for example arab writers um, may have more difficulty as compared to french uh, writer so we'll have to find out the uh, causes yeah and in the pakistani context like um urdu writer or even then we compare the kpk or uh, balochistan or sindh students they may have a different exposure to their own um first language in in different way another uh, uh, reasons might be lack of practice when the students when we mostly uh learn from students that they are blank they have nothing to say nothing nothing to express so in this regard teachers role is important why uh, how by bringing in tasks which are relevant by bringing in tasks which are appropriate which are not too difficult and these kind of tasks you know uh, which they have to do the tasks the things they have to do in their daily life for example filling in the form for example uh, writing a letter to the ministry writing a complaint letter or asking for a bill or writing a letter to the bank manager so these kind of uh, you know tasks can encourage students not only put their ideas into text but also review themselves how we can make students self judge their own writing Uh, we can um, for example we can give them uh, their own written assignment and we can ask them to compare with that that of model assignment and in this way they can compare and contrast and find out what worked for them and what didn't work and i have used this as a language teacher in most of our class in most of my classes where i uh, you know show uh, the written assignment by the students and show them the model answer as well and they themselves uh, you know find out uh, their uh, their uh, areas of improvement so we can uh, another area is to provide checklist to the students uh, to take whether the introduction is okay whether the middle is okay whether the conclusion follows the norms of conclusion and then we can engage them in peer feedback where students each the student looks at the writing of the other student and this is how they develop uh, kind of a uh, 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 collaboration and then we can train them uh, giving peer feedback which is helpful which which is not discouraging which promotes self esteem identity 
and um, the self-respect amongst students.